Just because everyone is um, worried. I, dude, I brought my own. <laughs> got my own. Don't worry. <laughs> like we got, we got hammered by some members of hashtag Nation, rightfully so, that we are not modeling appropriate social distancing. We, I want to point out that not. Mario and I, my house has been on full quarantine since before everything, anyway, because of the baby. So yes, this whole cancel all your plans in the next three months that didn't affect me at all because <laughs> I had been doing that anyway, so that didn't matter. Um, it, so Mario and I have taken extra precaution in our personal lives to ensure that we are still uh, not a danger to to each other to continue to give you guys at least some sense of normalcy. Um, so that's a big thing for us. We want to, yeah, it's good to see you too. <laughs> Uh, we want to make sure we can give you some sense of normalcy because I think suck right now for a lot of people. So. It is awful. It does suck, but we're still here, and uh, again, we've taken extra precaution to make sure that we could be. Absolutely. Um, so it's just want to. I just want to ensure everybody. Yes, you're right. We're not modeling the appropriate behavior, but we've taken we've taken extra adult extra. We've been, we've been adults recently. It's it's hard a, to believe. It's a tough sure. gig, man. Yeah, it's tough, tough to be an adult. adult. I don't like adulting. Adulting as much. is hard. It is. I don't like it as much. It was much easier when there was something to distract me. When I uh, called Todd Gurley an eight to nine million dollar player that he signs for six. Whoops. That was close ish. Well, with the incentives. Close ish. Yeah, six with, with the, the incentives. No, no, with the incentives will be. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think so. I'm not. Uh... But it just it goes to show you about the running back market, how it's mm-hmm. being viewed. But then again, what is. What is McCaffrey, Barkley, and Elliott? You know what I mean? What are they going to... What are they going to be worth? I think everybody learned their lesson from... Ah, uh, oh God. Who was it? The running back from the Cowboys. I blame the DeMarco Eagles. Murray. DeMarco Murray. Yeah. It's all DeMarco Murray's fault. <laughs> this whole thing's DeMarco Murray's fault. He was the second or third rounder. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. But the point was, the Cowboys were like, listen, we're going to get you. We're going to run you into the ground for four years. Mm-hmm. That fourth year... Oh that's why God. that's why everyone's pining for deals early now because that fourth year, he just got abused. Yep. He had like 392 mm-hmm. carries yep. or touches or something like that. Yeah, they gave him the Todd Gurley treatment. <laughs> the difference is the Rams the Rams did it in year one of that deal. Oh my God, that's true though. They ran Gurley into the dirt. As a Todd Gurley fantasy football owner, I appreciated that. Um, but I do think the Bills need to add somebody to that running back room. Like, I'm not going to say that they're immune from having to add somebody. No, I just don't know. Like, everybody say, oh, well, they should add a pounder. Well, Singletary's little, but Singletary is an interior runner. He is. He is so, he's your pounder. Right. I don't I, I don't see the Bills looking at the same type of player I think a lot of other people do. Jordan, I love I loved the Jordan Howard idea, right? I, I did enjoy the Jordan Howard idea. Uh, but I, I hear Carlos Hyde's name jumping around a lot, and I'm not really well, Carlos Hyde down with Carlos Hyde. Well, I could be down with Hyde. Okay. I was more on Hyde when he was leaving San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which we're is fine. Few, yeah, we're a few years late on that one. Uh, but, I mean, with David Johnson now being in tech in, in Houston, Houston mm-hmm. what is the need for him? But it's hilarious because Hyde's the interior runner. Mm-hmm. What is David Johnson not? Not an interior So runner. what are they trying well, that's to do? When they traded David Johnson and they have Duke Johnson already, I was like, what the? Do you David know? Johnson, Duke Johnson, do you know and Carlos your offense? Hyde. Yeah, do you know your offense at what all? Are you going to try to run all day? Yeah. Like, no. What are you trying to do? No. Nope. No. Well, Carlos Hyde's a free agent, so I mean, he's he's yeah. out there. But I think a lot of people are looking for interior runners. And I, I don't feel like the Bills are necessarily looking for an interior runner. Can Singletary get to the edge? I think he does. What would you rather have, a speedster or a, a, a pounder? Let's just let's just try to settle that because maybe then we can come to some kind of compromise. If you want an outside runner, mm-hmm. you have Yeldon who I can. Know. I'm saying Yeldon's like, not quick to the edge. Like people that, are though. worried about Yeldon's fumbling, mm-hmm. and I, I, right. I'm kind of mm, meh, shmay. You know what I mean? Okay, shmay, shmay, shmay. You know he's he, he has, may have a problem with that. I don't know what's a shmay. I'm like you know it's it's. It's the thing that people go to. Like you, you mentioned Dawson Knox. The minute, the, the first thing the Bills fans say is, "Well, he's going to clean up the drops." Yeah. Well, he's had a few key right. ones. Okay, I understand right. that. Yelda doesn't fumble every time he touches. I understand that. What you think he does? He fumbles a lot. He does not per carry. He fumbles. He does fumble. He fumbles enough to be a concern. 
I'll rephrase. He fumbles enough to be a concern. I, but he doesn't fumble when he's a receiving back. <laughs> and if a frog had wings, it wouldn't bump its ass when it hopped. <laughs> Wayne's World. <laughs> <laughs> You're a mutant. <laughs> anyway. I, I'm saying that... So you think Yeldon can be a an edge threat? I, I think he that. could be an edge threat uh, because of the limited amount of time you'd ask him to run. Now, if you're doing carries for, for Yeldon versus Singletary, right. it's going to be, at minimum, 80-20. He's, yeah, he's not going to get many carries. Yeah, He'll get maybe three. Yeah, I really I struggle to see Yeldon in the, in the long-term plans. You know. Now, like, what I liked is how, I mean, if we're going back to Houston, if I could say one good thing about Houston, I love how they used the combination of Duke Johnson and Carlos Hyde last year. Mm -hmm. Hyde ran inside the tackles. Yep. And then every once in a while, you'd see Duke Johnson run the ball inside the tackles, which right. eventually killed Buffalo in the playoff game because right. they weren't expecting it. They were expecting right. him to be on the edge or be, to be a receiving back. Mm -hmm. um, so in that respect, that's why I like it. But the reason why I like it even more, getting a guy now would be uh, teams don't know what, what Bean's going to do at the draft. Because right now you could still foresee them drafting somebody sure. in like the later rounds. Sure. Okay. If if they go into the draft with only Yeldon and Singletary and Demarco and Taiwan Jones, okay, yeah. they're they're drafting somebody. Right. Right. And, and I just I have to think that it's a guy that's going to be looked at as a speed guy because you look at the running back market out there right now. The two main names that are still out there now that Melvin Gordon has signed and now that Todd Gurley has signed, neither of which I think really fit the bill. Of you know a, a speed threat, uh, you have Dion Lewis and Lamar Miller, and I'm not really I'm not signing up for either one. Yeah, I and and Carlos Hyde. I, again, if you if you feel like you need to replace Frank Gore, but Hyde Singletary is. Singletary between Hyde Singletary, already replaced Gore. Once. I know, I know. <laughs> but between Forty ers <laughs> between Wade, Yeldon, Singletary. Oh, wait, I forgot about you Wade. You forgot about Wade. I did. Um, cause he's 40 years old. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's 29. It's, it's not all that bad, dude. <laughs> no, he's it's not all that bad. <laughs> Either way. Um, I, I think the bills do end up drafting a running back. Um, you know, I, I think that ends up happening no matter what they do in free agency. You think they'll still draft one? Yeah. Cause okay, I don't so. really know if that speed back is there in free agency. Well, I mean, Wade could be that. I, I totally missed on him. Yeah. That. I think Wade could be, but the question really is. Is the football knowledge there enough? Like you want to get him in space, right? But he's a good single cut back. That's that's what you should expect from him. He's a single cut back. You're going to run his own scheme. He's gonna. That's he's going to be comfortable there. What do we say about the? Um, what do we say about the Bills coaching staff all the time? That we wish they were better. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I've, uh, I've well, just no, been living the, twenty years. The one thing that we always say is that they think they can coach him up. Yeah, a lot of times when they make true. moves, they think they can coach him up. Very Wade true. will be the pinnacle of that se that sentence. Oh yeah, I agree with that. D depending on how he does. Yeah, I agree with that wholeheartedly. You, uh, you gotta say it. Come on, Joe Rogan. What? The mother cash. Yeah, <laughs> um, they're not done at the running back position. I just don't you're think. Not, okay. Yeah, I just don't feel like um, like the free agency was the direction that they planned on going there. You know, Singletary is there now, and again, great value for the third round, but just because Singletary started a lot for you doesn't mean that, you know, doesn't necessarily mean that he is your future. Like, I, he could be. I think uh, he should be. Who else is on the free agent market? Did you have it pulled up? Uh, yeah, let me go back to it real fast. I, I mean, if you, you have Taiwan Jones, you, you know what he's doing. He's special teamer. Was, there yeah, you go. He's a special All teamer. Right. Okay, you have... Uh, Taiwan Jones... Killed the Bills in the playoffs. The Taiwan play. Jones, the the nail in the coffin. That was very. All right, so you got Taiwan Jones. You got you got Christian Wade. Mm -hmm. You have T.J. Yeldon. Yep. And you have Devin Singletary. Yep. Currently, right now, you're running back. I know yep. we could say Demarco, but you're running back. Currently, you have those four. Two of those guys are going to be delegated to special teams. Yep. Yeldon, you have for this year on a very cheap deal, mm -hmm. so it doesn't do you any favors to cut him. Right. You're going to keep him for one year unless you find something. Even more impressive in free agency, which I don't see, mm -hmm. or the draft, some guy falls to you that you really love. Right. But you'd still go into the season with five backs anyway. Right. So right. if 
But here's the thing. If they sign Wade, if they sign Hyde, does that take Wade off the table as far as in their future plans? I think it, I think it, it kind of does. I mean, he'll still make the roster from a preseason level, you okay. know, but I, I think he ends up on the practice squad again because Ooh, you're going to have 12 players. I hope someone doesn't steal him, though. Really? It's a great story. Hey, oh, yeah, no, yeah, great story. All right, so here are your available wide receiver, available running backs. Devonta Freeman. <gasps> oh, no. Stop it right now. Okay, you ready? Let's just, we'll... We'll run the gamut on these. There's Ooh. there's a lot of names. He's injury prone, but I love him. Okay. Go ahead. So I am going to cherry pick some names because there are a lot of familiar names, but here here we go. Um, we have Devonta Freeman, Lamar Miller, Deion Lewis, Chris Thompson. Thank you, too. Who I love Chris Thompson. Oh, Chris Thompson to me. Love Chris Thompson. Can I just tell you? Just injuries everywhere. I know. But he's playing at FedEx Field. That's oh, gee, lower body injuries. Surprise, surprise. With FedEx Chris field. Thompson is the running back version of Robbie Anderson to me. Because he's just so intriguing. Yeah. And he's he could be, it's like, oh, you're right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's a little, it, little guy, right? Yep, but yep. he was their third down back because he picks up a blitz really well. He's dependable out of the backfield receiving the ball. You would really, Chris Thompson would allow Devin Singletary to become a running back as opposed to a, a utility threat. Um, yeah. McCoy is obviously on the free agent market. Carlos Hyde, we already mentioned. If you're looking for an interior runner, Peyton Barber is out there. If that's really the direction you want to go. Not bad. Um, He's well, Al Powell's always one that's kind of been intriguing to me. I don't yeah, know why. Deep. He's a cockroach. Yeah. Uh, Amir, he's, never, he's always there. Amir Abdullah, Spencer Ware, CJ Proces. Oh, there we go. CJ Pro. How do, you, how do you just gloss over Amir Abdullah? You loved Amir Abdullah. I did. You trying did. to trying to put that in your pocket? Yeah, just put that. Thinking just I put wouldn't that remember. one in there. Just put that one in there. Thinking I wouldn't uh, remember. Oh my God! Have you seen this guy? Yeah, I really liked Amir Abdullah. So there's 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 choices out there. There are choices. There are choices out there. that would be very cheap on one or two year deals. Absolutely. I don't think we're yeah. going. You're All, not going yeah. three year deal on any of those guys. Right. Freeman probably wants a three year deal, which is probably well, why they're. Freeman's also going to want to be a starter and. You know, it, it, does Buffalo offer that? I mean, I don't know. Melvin Gordon's agent called the Bills, and the Bills didn't offer a contract. So I, what needs to be said to Devontae Freeman is, listen, the most success you've ever enjoyed was when you were in a two-back set with Tevin Coleman. Right. So let's try to go back to that to try to resurrect your career because he has to do that. Well, that's another interesting one. So, I mean, it's probably just a matter of time before uh, who is the running back uh, from Minnesota – Signed with the 49ers. He's been there for two years and only played one game. McKinnon. McKinnon. Jared McKinnon. They're, ha- they're hanging on, though. They have no reason to hang on to McKinnon. What about Breida? Breida is definitely an option. Breida is definitely an option. I love option. me some Breida. I do love So some there are group. options out there. There are. By yeah, the time this comes out, all these guys probably would have been signed, so this episode is irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> disagree. <laughs> Respectfully Disagree. <laughs> But no, there there are options out there, not just in the draft. I, the draft just feels the most likely. Well, let me just ask you this then: Do they do both? Is that yeah. are you guaranteed that they're going to sign another one in free agency and draft another one? Yeah, I feel like they'll probably sign one more. I could see that, it, depending on the agreement that has been reached by the player, it'll determine whether or not it's it's a running back by committee or it's just a guy like a Yeldon. Right, like we, well, okay, yeah, signing sure Yeldon about. gave them the ability to release McCoy. That's really what happened, right? Yeah. That, so, I guess do signing another free agent give you the flexibility to release Yeldon? I mean, I yeah, because then you put your back at square one. Then it doesn't make any sense yeah, to just. So what? But you still have him there. It yeah, but if you're gonna sense. if you're going in hoping to draft a guy in the third, fourth, fifth round again, hoping, right? Well, yeah, I mean, after the draft, you're year. cutting Yeldon. You're not doing yeah. it before, right? Right. Stop Yeldon. You just you stop yelling. Stop yelling when you start saying stop saying stupid stuff. That's you just love TJ Yeldon. Why do you love TJ Yeldon so much? I'm gonna ignore that because I've already explained it. Why I like the idea of Yeldon, not Yeldon himself. I like the idea. Okay. Why do you like Ohio State cornerback so much? No, 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 no. We're about to fight. <laughs> 